Hello, it's me. Today we are going to play Dimensional Strings Attuned Oracle. This strategy requires a bit of luck, but you don't have to copy it exactly. We are choosing Infinite Revelation. That will allow us to choose triple rewards and upgrades, which is very powerful. We need three triples, so for that we are looking for Alpha Zerg. Once you have three Alpha Zerg, you actually have two triples because Beta Zerg can be triple as well. After that, you just level up and find your third triple along the way. At round 4, refresh to select Human Wave Attack for Zerglings, if you haven't found it. Here I'm getting it because I have one more Zergling in the store, so that's potentially another triple. After the first 3 rounds, just level up. About round 7 or 8, you should reach level 5. Here I bought a Hydralisk and sold it, so I have the mineral to level up. At the same time, I get one Cocoon, which will be used for the Gold Miner upgrades. At round 7, we use all Alpha Zerg to hit triples for level 6 cards. And I choose Artenis. Since the last buff to all hero units, Artenis become really good frontline. I enter two Artenis first and give them Vamp. Then I triple it to merge the upgrade, so Vamp have two stacks. Now we can triple the Artenis. For the triple upgrades, we need to select Reflector Armor. Then we doubled it up with our hero ability. Let's see how our tennis perform. We now have a strong front line, so let's pick up some production for damage dealer. At round ace, any artifact can help you improve your production will do. I'm going to choose oversupply because I already have two void ray in the store. I can get those and find more cards afterwards. Mohandar will turn our Protoss units into Elite, so I'm going to pick him. Now because we have our tennis, it will be our solid front line and we're most likely not going to lose. I feel quite safe to use our mineral on refreshes to find the card we want. You can pick Void Rays because they do extra damage to armor units and there are lots of armor units down the line. As you can see, we're doing quite good against Zero 2, even if there's mind control. Here I find another triple. I knew I can choose the rewards to be Mohandar. Since we already have two copies, we will hit a triple into triple. Then I choose Plasma Surge. So we are settling for seven portals. Thus, we will choose the tactical equipment for the final artifact. And after that, we are good. There isn't much to say, just make sure there are 7 portals cards on the field and try to optimize for the final round. You don't have to copy this strategy one by one. If you only have 2 triples, you can actually go for 2 early BCs. And you only need level 4 to do that. And here is the rest of the fight. If you like the video, please leave me a like, it really helps out the channel. I'm going to make a video about other games like Black Mist Wukong. Zero Space, and of course Stormgate. With their new trailer out, I'm going to analyze it. I would not recommend this strategy for higher difficulty because they're uh, the randomness. But if you're just playing with friends at lower difficulty, it's worth a try.